These are the top five ways to destroy anxiety. We know that every player goes through this and we as pros have to learn tools and tricks to overcome all of this on and off the field. And that's what we got for you today. Let's go. I've come here on the Golaremi channel and we're gonna talk about how to combat anxiousness and it's gonna be really nice. So you better listen up. One of the easiest ways to kill anxiety is to prepare for it. If you're prepared for a moment, then you're not gonna have as much anxiety. And that means putting the work in week in, week out. If you actually train well, then when you get to the game, you won't have the same sort of anxiety as you did if you do nothing or if you half-ass it most of the time in training. That's just not good enough. Now guys, I don't know about you, but I have always been a little nervous before I've gone into a football match. In fact, I've always been a little nervous before playing football. I always want to win. I always want to be the best. I'm not the best by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I always strive to be the best version of myself. And that pressure alone can sometimes get to me. You know, I overthink things a lot. You have to be a little bit arrogant that you're not gonna make mistakes. You always have to have a positive mindset that every time you're hitting a ball, whether it be say a goal kick or receiving a back pass or even making a save, that you're not gonna screw it up. Because the second you start thinking, oh, what if I miss hit this? What if I don't catch it completely right? You're, you're sunk. I will visualize playing when I'm in the shower. That's just the place where there's no other distractions. You know, you just have a wall, warm water. It's a very comfortable place for me. And that's just where I'll think about trials, games, and everything that I'm visualizing is all positive. It's making game-winning saves, even coming up for game-winning goals, getting signed with a new team at a trial, or even say winning the league with your team. It's always just extremely positive things that you just put in your head. And then once you start putting that in your head more and more, you're gonna start to believe it. I've realized that being anxious, being nervous, is just super counterproductive. If you're watching this video, you're probably slightly serious about your football, which means that you've got some skill. So what you gotta do is you gotta trust in that skill. And then you just gotta think ahead. So I have a very like practical thing I always do, is that when I'm in a one-on-one -on -one situation, where I get the ball, people are coming at me. I don't think about how I beat the player in front of me or how I make the cross. No, I think about what I do after that. Try to think two steps ahead instead of just one, because that makes you react on impulse. And if you're at least a decent footballer, you will most likely do the right thing. The first minute of the game, I make a good pass. The second minute of the game, this happens. The third minute, run through the game in your mind. That will destroy anxiety because the reason you have anxiety a lot is because you have an outward focus. With an outward focus, you worrying about a bunch of variables that you do not control and you will never control, but you can control everything on the inside. And for you to do that, you have to focus on yourself and you have to be proactive towards anxiety, guys. It will devour you if you let the thoughts seep in, just like Jay has said. If you just let those negative thoughts come in, that's why he fills his mind with a good positive mental outlook before the game. That's why Tyler visualizes in the shower because what you put in your mind is going to eventually come out. And if you fill your mind with trash, what you will get on the outside is trash. You might have a whole season where it looks like you're probably not gonna play. Well, that time is gonna pass anyway. So you have a decision to make. You can make things easier for the future you, or you can sit there and let it devour you. There's two ways that I look at how to deal with mistakes, and it really depends on what type of mistake you made. So for the first one, if it's a technical mistake, like we saw Spain's goalkeeper in the Euros, just missed the back pass, and I'm sure in training, he makes 100 out of 100 times, and there's just one time. Slip of concentration, something happened, and the ball ends up in the back of his net. For those types of mistakes, I always believe just forget about it instantly. Don't worry about it. Just. Pretend it never happened. If you start thinking, oh, I missed that back pass, I'm gonna miss this next back pass, it's just, it's not gonna work out for you. That's a big part of that is where the arrogance comes into. Even if you're in poor form, you need to believe that when you step on the field, like that's, that's when that stretch ends today. Every football player will make mistakes. But the problem is that you, you can go out there and tell yourself, oh, you're good, I'm arrogant, I've got this. But if you keep failing, that arrogance is gonna crumble at some point. Something that you guys are never going to avoid is criticism from your peers, your family, your coaches, from the guy on the street that just saw you shank a shot and says that you suck. 
This is unavoidable, okay? It will happen and it's happened at every club. One thing that you need to immediately understand is, does their opinion matter at all? Do they have any idea what they're talking about? It's one thing for your coach to tell you that you need to work on your passing, your shooting, or that you're not fit enough. It's a complete another thing if Joe from under the bridge tells you that he doesn't like the way you bend the ball. Joe sucks. He's actually never seen a soccer game and it doesn't matter what he says. Keep that in mind. Not everybody's opinion should be held equal. Your focus should be on you trying to compete with yourself also. And the more you compete with yourself and how you were yesterday, the more likely you are to forget about what any of them say because they're not on your journey. You guys just have to have faith in yourself, faith in the process that you've been training right. And you have to think long-term, like maybe this season won't go well, maybe this half season won't be your season, but you have to start looking forward of what can you do to start preparing for next season or for the next half of your season. So when you're put in a similar position, you'll have a better chance of success. How can you prepare to combat nervousness and anxiety? Well, you go out and you do repetitions. Repeat, repeat, repeat. If you realize that you need to get better at passing or your touch needs to be sharp, you need to be better at dribbling, whatever it is, train, train, train. It's not enough to go out, watch a YouTube video, do a little bit of a drill, and then you're gonna be less nervous next time you go to a match. No, you gotta go out there and make it natural. And the only way to make it natural is to do it over and over and over again. It sucks, but there's reason we'll entire pros, and I'm not, because they've put in the work. They've given everything to go there, and I have been playing football at a good amateur level. If you've done this dribble or this pass a million times, of course you can do it on the pitch, even though you've got guys screaming at you. Repetition here is the key, at least for me. All right, guys, so that's the vid. Obviously, remember all of these tips. J. Mike talked about thinking two steps ahead, having a positive outlook for the future. Tyler gets you to understand the importance of visualization, having a little bit of arrogance and confidence in your step. These things will actually make you a better player. So if you guys want to check out more from J. Mike and Unisport, go right over here, subscribe, check out the playlist, check out all the stuff from them. For us and GK Golaremi, subscribe right here. Link is right down below, golaremi.com. We will see you guys later. Peace. We have an entire guide to how to handle anxiety right down below on goalrami.com. We have guides on nutrition, on how to go pro, how to get better as a player, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Make sure to go and click the link right down below. That is done by the 11th Commandment, which is our podcast channel and team. So guys, go check that out if you want to. Please hit subscribe. If you want access to early or hidden content, all you've got to do is apply to Goalrami Nation. That is Fight Club for Footballers. <laughs> Go there, go to goldrami.com, put your email in, look out for an email, join the G Nation, my friends, and enjoy life. We will see you guys next time. Peace. At the end of the day, it's, it's about your journey on you getting better, and that's what matters.